All right, so welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about Sutra 1.28. Specifically, we are going to learn about the components of what is to be done with the sacred syllable Om. Okay? In the previous video, we learned that Om is the signifier of Ishvara. Right? Ishvara is that which is signified. Now in this video, we are going to learn about what is really going to be done with the sacred syllable Om. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by hitting the lotus icon in the bottom right of the screen for more videos on Indian philosophy, Sanskritam, and psychology. And please do visit the academy of Indianphilosophy.com for more information. Okay, so let's begin. Here we have Sutra 1.28. Tajapastadarta Bhavanam. Okay, we have. So let's break it down here. Let's break down the Sandhi. So first we have Tad, Japaha, Tad, Artha, and in the compound Bhavanam. Okay, here I'm writing it in a uh, Devanagari script but here we'll just write Tad Japaha again, and again Tad then we have Artha and then we have Bhavanam okay so Tad Japaha Tad Artha Bhavanam okay so let's break this down first Tad Japaha. So Japaha here, as I've written here, is repetitive chanting. Okay? So Jap is the from the root dhatu. It's a dhatu. The root Jap means to chant, to repetitively chant. Okay? And so what are you chanting? Japaha of Tad. That. Japaha of that. Which is referring to Om. Pranavaha again. So here it's saying, do the japaha, do the repetitive chanting of Om. Om, Om, Om. Or if you want to elongate it, Om. Right? So do the repetitive chanting of Om. Then another tad appears here. Artha bhavanam. Bhavanam is contemplating. Right? Allowing the mind to be filled with something. So what are you contemplating? You're doing the bhavanam, the contemplation of the artha. Artha means meaning. Okay? Artha is meaning. So you are to, you're, uh, you're instructed to, right? The yogin is instructed to contemplate, to do the bhavanam of the artha. To contemplate the meaning of om contemplate the meaning of om and do the japa the repetitive chanting of om these are the two main components of this sutra okay so here japaha repetitive chanting and artha bhavanam the contemplation of the meaning of om okay now before i go on to what this entails right First, this entire sutra rests upon the foundation, rests upon the premise that there is an eternal relationship between the word and the meaning. Okay? So there is an eternal relationship between the shabdaha and the arthaha. Okay? So word and meaning are together. And so because of this, when you're constantly chanting Om, Om, Om. What's going to do, what that's going to do is the meaning of Om is going to emerge in the mind or the desire to know what the meaning is or the meaning itself. Okay? And what is the meaning of Om? Right? And as we've explained, the meaning of Om is Ishvaraha. Right? Ishvaraha. The meaning of Om, the Arthaha, Arthasya. Right? of Om, in this case, is Ishvaraha, of God. Okay? Whatever God one has chosen in this case, which we'll specify, but 
say Shivaha, Krishnaha, Vishnuhu, right? Um, so as one is doing Japa of Om, what happens is this cultivates in one's mind the meaning of Om, which is Ishvaraha, right? So what happens then when you're constantly chanting Om and seeking the meaning of it and exposing it to God? Then what happens is the mind becomes filled with God. The mind becomes filled with Ishvaraha, right? And it becomes Ekagra, right here. Ekagra, the mind becomes one-pointed. You get Chittam Ekagram, a one-pointed mind, okay? So as one is constantly chanting Om, then what happens is that the chanting leads, once again, the chanting leads to this, um, this conception of the meaning of Om, okay? And the meaning of Om again is revealed to be Ishvara. So then the mind is constantly, perpetually being filled through the chanting of Om with Ishvara, with God, whatever God one has chosen, right? The Ishta Devata in this case, right? The chosen deity, okay? And so the mind as a result of this process, Tad Japas Tad Artha Bhavanam, the mind as a result of this process becomes one-pointed, Ekagra. Now this is important because in yoga, right, and especially in the Yoga Sutra, one-pointedness of the mind is the most important thing, okay? Now, we'll have different traditions, bhakti traditions, you know, whether it's a Shaiva, Shiva um, traditions, or Krishna, Vaishnava traditions, etc. They will say bhakti, devotion, right, is the highest form, right? So this may be the case, right, when a bhakti commentator is looking at the Yoga Sutra. But according to the Yoga Sutra, organically, looking at Patanjali and Vyasa's commentary, organically, the highest goal here is Chitta Vritti Nirodha, the suppression of the changing states of the mind, right, the stilling of the changing states of the mind. And this cannot be done unless the mind is Ekagra unless the mind is one-pointed. The mind can only be stilled. The, you can only attain yoga shitta vritti nirodha when the mind is ekagra, one-pointed. And so one, a one-pointed mind can be attained through the constant repetition of om, which then creates the, uh, I guess, the con conception or the meaning of Ishvara, Ishvara, and it presents it over and over again. And then it becomes one-pointed, okay? So remember, Ekagra, one-pointedness, is the priority in this case. Now, this is done, this is accomplished through the chanting of Om. There are many other ways one-pointedness or Samadhi can be attained in the Yoga Sutra as we'll see. But this is one of the most important ways. Okay? So, the commentary ends with saying, Therefore, you know, do the chanting and do the yoga. Through chanting and yoga, through the combination, through this blissful union, then the Paramatma, the soul, um, it uh, shines. It shines out in this case. Okay? Uh, so we'll use the word Purusha for now. Okay, so Purusha is revealed, okay, when there is this constant chanting and the practice of yoga. Alright, so... That should be okay for now, for this particular sutra, 1.28, and then we'll go on to 1.29. So see you in the next video. And again, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so by hitting the lotus icon. Thank you.